for me, what's interesting about the instrument is it's, it's got to be the heaviest instrument in the world. But all of the weight has been calibrated so that it, it will deal with the pressure of your fingers. So I like this mammoth thing that's three stories high that has to deal with two octaves on a, on a piano and has to deal with just a human being pressing down on it. But these bells are 22 tons, some of them. There are quite a few things that attract me for creating music for the carillon bells. Sound that's pulled up out of the normal field of playing um, where we are on the ground. A sound that's from above that's actually trying to communicate like a blanket. It's, um, it's up here with the weather and the crows, you know. I find that to be really compelling because it can be heard for miles around. To have somebody else play something that I wrote is a wonderful thing. They're gonna show me, and pages already show me, things that I hadn't noticed when I was writing it, and things that I thought were in there. She's bringing out things that she hears in there. And so between the two of us then, you know, we're finding different things about the same piece of music. So for me, it's really, really fun to kind of turn it over and see how someone else sees it. It's a dream to think about how many carillons could we get to play one thing. And because if we can cover, if we can, if this covers a couple miles and another church a couple miles is playing it or a tower, how much ground could we cover with one piece of music? I find that fun to think about at the very least.